Okay, um, so I'm going to show everyone an activity that's for um, stage 5.1 probability. It's basically aimed at kids who don't like maths or they're just really disengaged with what's happening in class. So um, I've used it many years now and they always love it. Um, even if uh, kids are doing 5.2 5.3, it's always a really great activity. Um, so usually I use this activity once we've kind of understood what our relative frequency is and so kids already know how to calculate um, the probabilities. Um, so usually to introduce, I'll show them this All video. All around the country, Australians have been speaking up with their thumbs, and we've heard you now you can join your favourites from breakfast to brunch and dinner. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so yeah, usually at the start I tell the students that we're going to do our own experiment. Um, we're going to um, test out a theory from the Big Bang Theory um, and uh, well, using relative uh, frequency um, and then I show them this video. They get excited because they're going to watch TV. <laughs> Simple subtraction would tell you it's six better. <laughs> compromise, watch back a lot of five. <laughs> In what sense is that a compromise? Well, well, five, five is part way between three and no more. <laughs> I'll tell you what, how about we go rock, paper, scissors? You, I, don't, I don't think so. <laughs> and it does Levitin suggest that in the game of rock, paper, scissors, players familiar with each other will tie 75 to 80% of the time due to the limited number of outcomes. I suggest rock, paper, scissors, lizard, spot. <laughs> what? See, it's very simple. But scissors cuts paper. paper. Paper covers rock. Rock crushes lizard. Lizard poisons spot. Spot smashes scissors. Scissors decapitates lizard. Lizard eats paper. Paper gets through spot. Spot paper rises rock. And as it always has, rock crushes scissors. <laughs> okay, okay, I think about it. Um, so yeah, after that, um, the students get distributed this worksheet, um, and it basically explains what Sheldon has just said. And we, um, I guess, you can have a conversation about well, what if, what's this idea of the seventy-five to eighty percent of the time um, drawing um, in the game, but. The idea is for the kids to actually test whether the new game is better at settling the arguments. Um, and so they get to get into pairs and they play 15 rounds of a rock, paper, scissors with a Spock with their partner. And then they record all their results and basically they're trying to see how many times um, they draw. Once they've done that, they get to summarise their results, they work out relative frequency, um, they record all the probabilities of other pairs in the classes and then you can have a conversation with them about the differences, the similarities um, and then of course they want to be concluding whether the game is um, a better um, version of for settling um, disagreements and then if you want to differentiate for more capable students you can actually do a, I guess, a base experiment with the old game and the new game and then um, even look at uh, the actual possible outcomes um, or, or the theoretical probabilities um, and discuss what Sheldon says about well why is it that the, the original game is actually uh, like gives such a high probability of drawing even though if you think about the actual um, outcomes it, it shouldn't be that way so yeah so this is, um, this is that's it I guess Thanks.